today we're going to talk about thrips. Have you noticed this sort of a leaf in your garden? It's truly not a good look, but it's a sure sign of thrips and perhaps having a dry summer. On the reverse of the leaves you can see all that speckling and on the top sides you can see silver. Now that's a sure sign that you have thrips either on a rhododendron or in this case it's a camellia. But there are quite a few evergreen shrubs that can get thrips, including Portuguese laurels, bay trees, petunias, that type of thing. And if the conditions in your garden are quite dry, the more likely that you are to get thrips. Some areas in New Zealand are less prone to getting them than others. So if you're one of those areas, you're lucky. But in my instance, I'm not. You can deal with thrips at any time of the year. But the best time to deal with them is as soon as you see it because it'll, the position will only get worse. Thrips are quite fast at spreading so as soon as you see them the options you have if you've got a hedge full of thrips is to give it a tight trim. Make sure that you clean up all the old leaves because that, that any thrips that are left in that will just come up and reinfest your bush. Give it a good spray with a combination of Maverick and end spray oil. Use end spray and Maverick mixed together for best results and make sure that you absolutely drown the plant to the point of dripping. Or if you've got a systemic insecticide that'll come up right through the bush, use that as well, or instead of in fact. And if, you, if your trees or shrub is really struggling, you can pop in something called Biopower Seaweed Flake into the mix, you can use all three together, and this will stimulate new growth on your bushes and keep them very healthy, really help them recover. So the thing is, be aware of what thrips looks like, which is this um, silvering mainly on the top and um, speckling underneath. Sometimes can be quite a um, rusty color, so rusty or silver. Make sure that you um, trim off it as many leaves as you can. Clean up the old growth or the old leaves that have fallen on the ground and then give it a really good spray and just so much as the spray is actually dripping off the bush. Get your nozzle right in, into the middle of the bushes and have the spray dripping so it's fully, fully covered. And then just watch, you may have to do it a couple of times if you've got a really bad infestation. And prevention is far better than cure. Thrips generally happen in the spring and the summer, so if you give a preventative spray in September or October and then perhaps another one after Christmas, we'll make sure you don't get any thrips at all and that's the best outcome you can get.